Who is the best League of Legends player? This is a question that gets brought up a lot. So instead, I want to tackle the opposite question. Who is the worst player? From players who are unlucky newcomers to the game, all the way to people who have played the game for years but still can't escape the lowest ranks. And among these people, there are a handful of strange players intentionally losing as many games as possible to try to reach the lowest ranks in the game. Today we take a look at a side of League of Legends you would otherwise never hear about. But before we get into that, today's video is sponsored by the Blitz app. Blitz is an app designed to help you perform better in your games, all by giving you informational advantages, like recommended professional builds, runes, win rates, and everything really. The best part is that everything will be directly imported into your game automatically. Though what I personally use Blitz for the most is their in-game overlay. As this overlay presents you with exact respawn timers of jungle camps and my favorite feature, the CS tracker. This tracker is constantly comparing your CS per minute to how high elo players would be farming in your position. Basically, it lets you know when you're doing good or when you're most definitely the reason your team is losing. So if you're ready to improve the way you play, download the Blitz app with the first link in the description. In September of 2018, Riot Games announced that they would be making some changes to the ranking system in their game. Prior to this announcement, the lowest rank possible in League of Legends was Bronze 5. But with the new changes, tiers in ranks would now only go up to 4 instead of 5. And there would also be two new ranks added, Grandmaster and Iron. Grandmaster is self-explanatory, an in-between rank of players in really high elo and the absolute very best. But our main focus today is Iron. Iron would become the newest, lowest rank in the game. And to give you a proper perspective of how players are distributed, on the screen right now are the current rank distributions of players worldwide. Only 2.2% of the entire player base is in Iron. A little off topic, but Silver appears to be the most common rank to be in, as 34% of the player base resides in that rank. But back to Iron, Iron 1 holds the most players. After that, Iron 3, 2, and 1 are scarcely populated. Specifically, the lowest rank possible Iron 1 holds 0.10% of the player base. Statistically speaking, you have a higher chance of being a master ranked player than being in Iron 4, as currently 0.11% of the player base is in Masters, the third highest rank in the game. Now, Iron 4 holds a very diverse cast of players. First and foremost, the unlucky players. Many of the accounts in Iron are sometimes just unlucky players that very well could have been in Bronze or Low Silver if they were given the right teammates. And secondly, there are those who you could say belong in iron. The rank system's purpose is to separate players into playing with other players of the same skill level. So as an example, I'm going to show you the streamer named Kadeem. Although Kadeem fluctuates from Iron 4 to Iron 1, as of making this video, he is quite literally the lowest rank in the game. Iron 4, 0 LP, with a 40% win rate. Now, some background on who Kadeem actually is. Kadeem is very likely the most popular bad League of Legends player. Back in 2018, he gained some popularity after being hosted by bigger streamers on Twitch like Pokimane and Tyler1. However, unlike regular gaming streamers, Kadeem's appeal was actually the fact that he was unironically bad at the game. Now, initially, his excuse was that he was just new to the game. I'm still gonna win this game. Now, it doesn't mean that's not the reason why I'm doing bad at this game. The reason why I'm doing bad at this game is because I'm new. <laughs> but four years later, his skill level hasn't really changed. And I bring up this example because I think it's important to talk about this. League is a very popular multiplayer game, meaning that there are players from every walk of life imaginable playing the game every day. And when you see people who struggle in low ranks and can't advance, 
It's not always for silly reasons. Some people have real life disorders or difficulties that can limit their learning comprehension. So although some aspects of the game may be very easy for you to understand, for them it may not be that simple. Though at the end of the day, they still enjoy the game and they're playing it to their best capacity. So just something to keep in mind. Now lastly, changing the mood, the third type of players in Iron, straight up trolls. Like I said earlier, only 2% of the entire player base resides in Iron. But I've spent hours looking through Iron profiles and I swear it is difficult to find players who aren't just straight up trolling. And I'm not talking about players who aren't performing well. I'm talking about why in the world did this guy just lose 72 games in a row while only buying ruby crystals? Initially, his account behavior was somewhat normal. He spent over a month playing against bots to reach level 30 and be able to play in ranked matches. Okay, that's normal. However, once achieving level 30, he would go on to just straight up troll in every game. And if that's not weird enough for you, during the entire 72 games, he was duo queuing with another player who was doing the exact same thing. I must mention this. Shout out to these three players that still managed to win a game while having these two trolls on their team. Never surrender. Anything is possible. Now, I have to say two things about this. One, it is incredibly frustrating that Riot Games bans accounts for saying bad words, but allows players like these to go around ruining tons of games for their teammates, and they don't get banned for it. Now, I must say, these accounts have been MIA for the past few months, so I'm going to assume they did get eventually banned. But anyway, secondly, these guys aren't unique. If you go through the list of Iron players, which I will leave in the description, you will find a large quantity of accounts that are intentionally trying to be Iron 4. This guy's name is literally Iron 4. Some by losing every game possible, and others use a strategy where they force their team to remake every game, causing their teammates to not lose LP, while their account slowly plummets in ranks. The king of this strategy is this player ironically named Perfect Teammate, who reached Iron 3 by forcing their teammates to remake over 100 times. However, I assume they got banned as there hasn't been any activity on this account for over a month now. Hey, I'm currently editing this video, and I should correct that last statement. The king of this strategy is more likely, this account named Katarina2009, who has done this over 200 times? So, big question is, why in the world would anyone want to do this? Why is anyone putting in all this effort and time to reach Iron 4? Well, aside from wanting to be a troll, the goal here is to reach the lowest rank possible, and then stomp on your low ranked opponents. This account for example started at Bronze 1 after finishing their provisionals, and then they stormed their way down to Iron 4. Now after reaching their destination, they proceed to try hard in every game, winning each game by huge margins. So anyway, in conclusion, who is the worst player in League? Technically, the answer to that is anyone who is Iron 4, 0 LP. Additionally, if you care about esports, locating the worst player there would come down to many factors. But I have to mention, if you ever feel bad about your in-game performance, just remember that you can't be as bad as Huni, a player on TSM who is being paid over a million dollars per year to play League of Legends. And despite that fact, earlier this year he went four professional games in a row without getting a single kill. Hooney knows he got top 50 the entire series. But alright guys, let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below. As always, thank you guys for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you again next week.